Tankers, welcome back to my videos. I am Drizzle Splits, and today I am going over how to improve your win rate. Now, you can see at the beginning of this match, I told the team to go right. And the reason because of that is, I looked at the enemy lineup, and I looked at my lineup. Now, I noticed that they had three tank destroyers, which, one of them not being very mobile, the FV-422 and the 62 are most likely in a cross river, and we have a 140 and a Patton which means that our medium should be able to fight their mediums. And since we have a grill, that grill will most likely be shooting across the river. So at the beginning of the match, I am making all of these assumptions on what is going to happen, and I am going to push my heavy tank straight up into the, um, the little dome, I call it, or the fishbowl. Now, unfortunately, I was not paying attention here and really screwed myself. I am already down 600 health. Fortunately, at least one of my shells does hit, but again, I get hit once more, 648 health left. So, now I am pretty angry at myself for not really paying attention. Don't do that, always pay attention on the map, but I didn't expect them to push that aggressive immediately. So, once you're at a low amount of hit points in the game, you need to take a defensive position. This IS-4, as you can see, really just wants to kill me. And because he's doing that, I'm actually really helping my team, because he is pretty much just as useless as me right now, except I don't have hit points, he has his full hit point pool. He's sitting at 2300 hit points, and I'm at 600. And pretty much what I'm doing is I'm causing my team to shoot at the Jagdpanzer and the other guys, because that IS-4 is just so focused on me. My team, as you can see, is just shooting across over here as I'm looking at that FV, and since these heavies cannot push, they're just pretty much useless. And as soon as the IS-4 distracts his attention for some reason, doesn't even fire, gets sh two shells into him, he pushes on me. I know I can survive one shell, but he bounces it anyways. Now I see they shot the T-30, but we still have a full health IS-7 covering me. And now I know that I can kill that IS-4 if I pen all my shells, especially now only two shells needing the pen. And I see that the FV is dead because the team has focused them instead of the IS-4, which was the smart thing to do. I know I can take the shell from the IS-4, one shell, two shells, the Jagdpanzer turns, I see he gets tracked, I pull out, and bam, kill the Jagdpanzer. Now, I didn't do a crazy amount of damage this game, I only did 1900. But you can see that even when you're really in a bad situation, you're able to still cause the team to win. If I was not alive there, we might have lost that game, because all I did was distract that IS-4 so much that he literally did not shoot anybody else on the team, and I still managed to take about 1,500 hit points off him, which is pretty good. So, to be honest, you don't need to do a lot of damage to help your team win. All you need to do is over a 1,000 damage. That's what I've normally said, is just do your part in the game. If you do 2,000 damage in a Tier 10 match, that's fine, because that's the whole team added up, you do 12,000 damage. And as you can see, the entire team, we did 13,000 damage. So pretty much, if everybody on your team does 2,200 damage, you will do more than enough damage to win the Tier 10 match. Which means if you have, like, the Patton doing 3,500, and everybody else does over 1,000, as we did, we won the match. And since, at the beginning, I told the enemy te I, our team where to push, we were able to push in correctly, hold our positions, didn't let them push on us, and that is how you pull off a match. You can see their team just didn't do anything because their heavies weren't supporting them. The IS-4, he's focused me so much, he only did 800 damage. If he was, you know, pushing up over the, where there's the ridge above me, he could have pushed over that and shot at the T-30, the IS-7, but instead the IS-7 and the T-30 were shooting at the tanks across, and the mediums weren't getting any support from their heavies, or their tank destroyers, and that is why they lost the match. And that is what happens. You need to work together as a team. As you see, our team worked together very well. We didn't all do a crazy amount of damage, but together we did enough damage to pull off the match. Their team didn't work together at all, scattered out, focused all different targets, and lost. And that is how you lose a game. Well, I'll get stuck into the second replay, and it'll be a lot easier to uh, tell you how to win that as well. Now again, at the beginning of the match, you can see I told the team to go right again, because I knew that looking at the lineup they had, they had more of a heavy side lineup. They only have two fast tanks, and one of them is a very, very crappy tier 9 medium, and I'm not really worried about that at all. 
the bat chat, we have fairly competent tank destroyers, I hope, on the team, so I feel we can take them out, as they are in some respected clans at least. But looking at the lineup, I always guess where the enemy team is going to be. I'm guessing where the tank destroyers are going to camp. You always want to do that every time you play the game. And if the team sticks together, you can see our team is fairly stuck together. And their team will be stuck together, but our team does a better job. Now, unfortunately, I do do a mess up of my own. Yes, I mess up just as much as every other person. You can see I shot that IS-4 in the turret. I didn't think he was going to pull up, but I let my patience not get to me, and I fired the shell, and then he drove right across. I could have easily hit him. This shell was just a bit of Wargaming not liking me. The AMX just moves as soon as I fire. So, unfortunately, I didn't get that one. If I had fired an AP before, though, I definitely would have hit him. I just wanted to try and get that HE shell in. Now, I'm guessing where this AMX is going to be, and I'm paying attention to my team at the same time. I'm noticing that my team is pushing very aggressive, and you don't want to do that. Because, as you can see, only three or four of their tanks have been spotted. You still don't know where the grill is, where the bat jet is where their E100 is, and the issue with that is, is that if you push super aggressive with your tanks, you don't know where half the enemy team is because they haven't been spotted yet, and you can see we're already down a tank. And you can't push aggressive if you don't know where their tanks are. You always need to pay attention to how many tanks have been spotted, you need to know where they have last been spotted, because unlike PC, there are no markers on your minimap telling you where the last tanks were spotted, you have to know that in your brain. So you actually have to use your brain when playing this game, you can't just half-ass it. But you can see we're doing pretty good, 1360 damage so far, even though those two shells are mess-ups. And that is one of the things, is keep your cool when you're in a game. You can't go crazy. This E100, I just couldn't get that shell in, but what was good is I distracted him and the teammate shot him. So I still said affirmative, because even though I took the shots, it still got that E100 killed, and I wouldn't have been able to one-shot him, and that is what the right thing to do is. If you take a hit for your teammates, it is always better than letting your teammate die, because having two guns shooting somebody is better than one. You can see this bat chat makes a very bold move, as again, I've said, never push aggressive on a tank, especially if you see that a tank is in Prama or a very well-respected clan, Especially when you got teammates covering it too. This bat chat made a very bold decision. I shoot an HE right into his side, finish him off, and now there is the grill. And even though I've missed a couple shells this game, I'm not doing my best, we've still managed to pick up 2.9 thousand damage. And the reason is, is because I've paid attention to the minimap, I've noticed where all the enemy tanks are. Unfortunately, I hit the fence when I was shooting at that grill with the HE, so it just blew up on the fence and didn't hit him. But again, that grill was focusing me, then he turned around to shoot that E5, and now he is done because my teammate came to help me. And that is the right way to play. You need to have your teammates with you. You can't be across the map. Because now you can see we have a Type 61 and an AMX 50B. And I'm just hoping that I at least get a little bit of accuracy here. Come on, come on, fire the shell. Yes, it flies true. That should not have flown true, but I am happy it did because I did not want to deal with that tank. And now I know that the AMX is sitting there. And playing World of Tanks is sort of like playing a game of chess. When you play a game of chess, you have to be two steps ahead of your enemy. Because you need to know where he is going to go, and then you have to predict where he's going to go and do the opposite of that to counter-predict his prediction. I know it sounds very confusing, but pretty much what I'm thinking is that AMX was going to come around this way because he saw that I was sitting there. Unfortunately, he does not, and the E5 decides to push aggressive. See, the issue with the E5 pushing aggressive is just that the E5 has 450-ish hit points, which means that the AMX would be will easily clip him out even if he bounces a shell. But the nice thing is we spot the 50B, and I now know where he's pushing. E AMX does not know where I am, and the AMX spotted the E5, so I know where that AMX is. I didn't want to take the risk of an HE shell, so I shot an AP high roll 688, and we've done four and a half thousand. And I know that my shell will pretty much guaranteed one-shot him. The issue is, is that he will pretty much kill me in his clip. Now, I know that I'm detected, and the detection rate is 9 seconds. So I'm going to pretend like I'm pushing this way, I'm going to turn my tank around, and I'm going to push the other way. And what that's doing is I know that he is going the other direction, because if he wasn't, I would have spotted him there. 
Now, he still thinks I'm driving around the map. So he's thinking, ha ha, I'm going to come up behind this guy and I'm going to clip him out. And I'm like, no, you're not. I'm going to find you. And also, never go in the base. But I come right up behind him, and I kill him because he wasn't even expecting it. He was probably like, what the? Boop. And that is how you really win matches. If you're against an enemy, you need to outthink the enemy. You need to do three steps ahead of the enemy if you're in a match like that. Don't pull out in the front of a tank that you know is going to do more damage than you. Wait until he shoots, then pull out. If you see that he didn't shoot, and you see him looking somewhere else, and he starts to aim back at you when you try to pull out, don't continue to pull out, back up. This is just a little video I did, though. If you want some more tips and tricks, please let me know. I will definitely let you guys know all of the knowledge I can give out. Uh, thanks for watching my video, though. I will make sure to post some tomorrow. If you liked it, leave a comment down below telling me what you liked. If you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon if you would like to fund me, help me get better equipment. Um, please do so. It's like $1 a month. I don't even know how much it is. Um, but I'll leave a link to that as well as my Discord. Send me replays there. Thanks for watching.